fear and consciousness of Allah, the most high and ponder over events that happen around you. Learn lessons from them and remember, for the intelligent one is he who remembers and takes admonition. The topic of this khutbah is the destructive earthquake that hit part of Turkey. The earthquake which caused thousands of people to die, caused loss of wealth and properties, and forced people to seek refuge outside of their dwellings, now being without their home and their wealth, and without food and drink. The earthquake, which turned security into fear, business into poverty, caused joint families to depart and turn life into death. Without doubt, in it is a lesson for those who take lessons and a reminder for those who remember, so that they may return to their Lord and their Creator, the truthful, the chosen one. Peace be upon him has informed us that a multitude of earthquakes is a sign of proximity of the awe. He informed us that they would be many at the end of the time. Ahmad relates in a hadith narrated by Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet upon whom be peace said, the awe will not happen until knowledge is taken out. Time passes quickly. Earthquakes increases in number, with the appear and Al Harj increases in number. It was said, What is Al Harj, O Messenger of Allah? He said, Al Qadl, Al Qadl. A lot of what is mentioned in this hadith has already materialized. Happenings of earthquakes and the like from other destructive and disastrous events are the greatest evidence of the astonishing power of Allah. Most high earthquakes are from among the soldiers of Allah, the exalted, subjected to his order. He, the most just, causes fear in the hearts of those whom he wills, teaches lessons whom he wills, and punishes whom he wills. And none can know the forces of your Lord except He. For, the, for to Allah belong the forces of the heavens and the earth. If this Ummah leaves Allah's Sharia, ignores the deen of Allah, the most high, and follows its enemies, Allah will sub- subjugate it to His armies which no one knows except He. From among these armies are the earthquakes. Such is the seizure of your Lord when He seizes the towns while they are doing wrong. Wirely his seizure is painful and severe. When we decide to destroy a town, we send a definite order to those among them who are given the good things of this life. Then they transgress therein and thus the world is justified against. Then we destroy it with complete destruction. Allah the Most High with this artwork makes clear to his servants a plain reality that the kingdom of the heavens and the earth in his hands and that he is the irresistible and dominant over his servants. Some people may be astonished by what the West has from the materialistic part, from various weapons, aircraft, carriers, bombs, satellites, etc. and they forget that the Allah, the most merciful, allowed that piece of land to move and shake being able to shape the forces of the west and the east. Everything is in his hands. He has power over all things and no one in the heavens and the earth can weaken him. The most high heroes of the earthquakes therefore points us to a deeper reality that may be absent in the minds of some people, those who are busy with this world and who are servants of materialism. This earthquake also reminds us of the day of judgment, the day when all of the earth will say, and not only one part of it, Allah says, O mankind, fear you, Lord, and be beautiful to him, while the earthquake of the all is terrible. To the day you shall see it, every nursing mother will forget her nursling, and every pregnant one shall drop her load 
and you shall see mankind as in a drunken state. Yet they will not be drunken, but the torment of Allah will be severe. Look what is left after the earthquake from destroyed buildings and houses, deaths of thousands and families who feel fury outside of your homes. What state is that in which everyone is running away, hearing about nothing? So what do you think of day of judgment? That day shall a man flee from his own brother, and from his mother and his father, and from his wife and his children. One the day the earth and the mountain will change. Why? Allah, the more high ones and servants, with earthquake to learn a lesson and be admonished, and to be ready and prepare themselves for the day of sorting out, the day of the great earthquake that will shake all of 